assalamu alaikum doctors welcome to my youtube channel mbbs and bds lectures today is the first video of rapid revision course of oral medicine which is very important for nle exam mds nbd as well as for bds students in this video we will discuss about recurrent oral ulceration in recurrent oral ulceration uh, we will discuss about recurrent aptus stomatitis or recurrent aptus ulcer and this is very important topic in this video we will discuss about definition its etiological factor and its differential diagnosis its um, classification and its management first how we define ulceration what is ulcer or what is ulceration ulceration is defined as a break in the continuity of an epithelial lining because epithelial lining is continuous when there is a break in the continuity of epithelium lining this is known as ulceration or ulcer now uh, now come to the recurrent aptus ulcer a recurrent aptus ulcer name suggests that it occur again and again now it is a common oral condition affecting 20% of the population and now come to the etiological factors of recurrent aptus ulcer in etiological factor there are number 1 is the genetic factor study show that children which parent have recurrent aptus ulcer in those children there is 90% of chances to develop recurrent aptus stomatitis if children patient uh, patient do not have recurrent aptus ulcer in this patient there are 20% of chances of recurrent aptus ulcer occurrence but if uh, um, if children parents have recurrent aptus ulcer there are 90% of chances now come to the second etiological factor of recurrent aptus stomatitis the nutritional deficiencies recurrent aptus ulcer occur in nutritional deficiencies like iron deficiency vitamin b12 deficiency folate deficiency next is the systematic diseases like celiac diseases uh, which is the autoimmune disease which affect the intestine in systematic disease like celiac disease recurrent aptus ulcer occur next is the endocrine condition like in female during uh, starting of the menstruation or during menstruation period due to hormonal imbalance there is a uh, recurrent aptus ulcer stomatitis chances next is the stress stress cause recurrent aptus ulcer and therefore female take more stress there is a more chances of recurrent aptus stomatitis in female next is the trauma and next is the allergy in allergy in allergic condition again our uh, in allergy our immune system is hyper stimulation in hyper stimulation there are the t lymphocyte uh, attack the epithelium lining in the result there will be in the result there will be recurrent of the stomatitis next is the infection in infection our cd4 and cd8 count is mean our immune system is affected in the result there will be recurrent of the stomatitis and next cause is a smoking cessation when anyone stop the smoking in the result there will be a recurrent aptus stomatitis now come to the clinical features in clinical features uh, actually there are three types of recurrent aptus ulcer major aptus ulcer minor aptus ulcer and herpetiform ulcer in uh, uh, 
Her foot in a minor of the sulcer, there is a small ulcer, and they occur mainly on the labial mucosa. And next is the major of the sulcer, which occur this major of the sulcer, which occur mostly on the pharyngeal mucosa. And next is the herpetipan ulcer. In herpetipan ulcer is a multiple small pinpoint ulcer which occur in the oral cavity. This is the clinical features. Now come to the uh, comparison of these uh, ulcer. First is the uh, in table there is a minor of the ulcer, major of the ulcer and herpetipan ulcer. First is the sex ratio. In sex ratio the uh, in minor of the ulcer and major of the ulcer there is the same ratio in both male and female but in herpetipan ulcer uh, the, this is more in female because female take stress. Next is the age of onset. Age of onset is the, in the minor of the ulcer is the, uh, from 10 to 19 years and in uh, uh, major of the ulcer again from 10 to 19 but in herpetipan ulcer it is from 20 to 29 years. Mean age of onset of minor or major is in young age, I mean in uh, adolescent age and in herpetipam there is in young age. Next is the number of ulcers. Number of ulcers is in minor of the ulcer is less than 10, in major less than 5 but in herpetipam from 10 to 100. Next is the size of ulcer. Size of ulcer in minor of the ulcer is less than 10 millimeter in major there is a greater than 10 mm or we also say uh, in uh, centimeter the size of minor of the ulcer is less than 1 centimeter in major more than 1 centimeter but in herpetipam is from 1 to 2 mm larger if ulcer coalesce. Next is the duration. Duration is the in minor of the ulcer is uh, the duration of minor of the ulcer from 4 to 14 days major greater than 30 days and in herpetipam again greater than 30 days. Next is the recurrence. Recurrence of minor of the ulcer is uh, from 1 to 4 month it occur uh, again major of the ulcer less than one month and my herpetipam also less than one month. Next is a site affected. In minor of the ulcer, labial and buccal mucosa and tongue is affected. In major of the ulcer, labial mucosa, buccal mucosa, tongue, palate, and pharynx is affected. And in herpetipam, labial and buccal mucosa, soft palate, and floor of the mouth. This is different, and floor of the mouth is affected. Next, scar formation. In minor of the ulcer, uncommon scarring, scar formation. In major of the ulcer, common. And in herpetipam ulcer, possible if ulcer coles mean rupture. Now come to the uh, next uh, table. Actually, uh, how we uh, differentiate intraorally, this is a uh, uh, recurrent of the stomatitis. The border, the halo of the aptus will be red and the center will be uh, white, yellow or gray. Now, uh, when uh, the uh, floor, the center will be white, yellow and gray, recurrent aptus ulcer First floor is white. Why? Because there is a connective tissue. And then when in center the fibrin is come, then it become yellow. And when granulomation tissue is formed, then this become dark gray. But surrounded by erythematous halo. I mean the border is red. Now come to the uh, again is in this uh, table. The comparison of minor, major and perfect form. Minor is a small round to oval ulcer seen mainly on non-keratinized mucosa. 
heal in about one week without a scar and it is painful now come to the major of the ulcer large round to oval ulcer around 1 cm in diameter seen on any mucosal surface heal in about 10 to 14 days may might leave a scar can be painful next is our patty palm multiple minute pin head ulcer which collapses into a large rect ulcer mean rupture seen on any mucosal surface heal in at least 10 days re reoccur very frequently almost continue, continuous oral ulceration i mean the recurrence rate is more in herpetic palm and these are extremely painful now minor is painful major is can be painful and herpetic palm is extremely painful now uh, next is the uh, now come to the treatment of recurrent of the stomatitis before treatment in the differential diagnosis of the uh, recurrent of the stomatitis there is a bacterial disease and uh, now come to the uh, treatment in treatment uh, uh, of ulcer uh, recurrent of the stomatitis first we give mouthwash and uh, after it is uh, after mouthwash if the condition is not resolved then we go for local corticosteroid now in treatment uh, first we give antimicrobial in treatment uh, uh, first we give antimicrobial mouthwash which is chlorhexidine mouthwash point now in treatment uh, first uh, in antimicrobial mouthwash we give chlorhexidine mouthwash 0.2% and hydrogen peroxide mouthwash 6% then we give no, local analgesic uh, in the palm of benzodine amine mouthwash 0.1% uh, 0.15% rinse or gargle using 15 ml every 1 hour as required next we give uh, lignocaine ointment 5% or spray 10% this is the local anesthetic and mean in local analgesic we give mouthwash benzodine amine Uh, mean benzodine amine mouthwash and a uh, local anesthetic which is which is lignocaine ointment 5% or spray 10% next uh, we give hydrocortisone mean corticosteroid oromucosal tablet 2.5 mg this is all about first uh, uh, video of rapid revision course of oral medicine we cover free current of the stomatitis which is very important for any le exam now in next videos we will discuss other topics if you like my video press the like button and share this video with your friends if you new to my channel subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon in order to receive my each new video notification for watching my videos i am very thankful to you thank you very much